Morning everybody, we're in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Just getting ready to go. We got a full day of trucking ahead of us today. We're gonna see how far we can get. We're on our way down to Virginia. Let's go. It is so hot out here. It feels like I'm in Georgia, Minnesota. My thermostat here is reading 38 and a half degrees Celsius. I think it's 36 out here right now. Let's check this out. 35 degrees last time my phone updated. That's in Celsius. Let's see. It's got a severe weather alert here. Heat advisory until 7 p.m. tonight. It's 34 Celsius. What is 34 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Power off. One second, we got a... 3.2 degrees Fahrenheit. What is 34 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 34 degrees Celsius is 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so to you guys living in Nevada and stuff, you're laughing at me now. Ha ha ha, only 93, only, only 93 trucker truck. Yeah, I'm a Canadian, I'm melting. This is hot. Hot, hot. We had that strong wind coming from the south last week, right? And it blew up all of this hot air from the southern U.S. It's just, whoo! Oh, now I gotta wait for this guy to park. This parking lot is absolute chaos all the time. But, just so you guys know, they've made half the parking spots paid now. Or maybe they always were, it was just, I didn't notice. I'm noticing Pilot Flying J doing that a lot. Same thing with TA and all the truck stops. Every year, slowly, they're making more and more and more of the parking spaces paid spaces. So, if this is gonna become a thing in the future where we have to pay for all of our parking spots every single night, trucking companies are gonna to have to start adding that cost onto the freight. And what's that gonna do that's gonna make the cost of all your goods go up even more? Okay, what's this guy doing? Come on, bud. Back her up. You can do it. You can do it. It works better if you just go for it. Just go for it. Send it. There you go. You got it. That is a pretty tight spot you're trying to get into. I, that's why I don't park here. That's why exactly why I don't park here. No offense to all you wonderful drivers out here, but I don't trust you. There's no way I'd trust people not to hit me here. Sheesh. I mean, you guys watching my videos, I know you guys can back up. I know you guys can drive. Hey, you know what I'm talking There's a lot of guys out here who should not be behind the wheel of a big truck. I don't know how they got their driver's license, but somehow they managed to muster one up out of a cereal box somewhere. And they really shouldn't be here. This guy seems to know what he's doing. He's just taking it easy, being careful. And that's okay. That's okay. I'd rather you be slow and careful than fast and careless. Okay, bud. You, bud. I need this space here to cut it wide around that trailer over there. So I have to go through here. I can't just go around them. Straight back, my friends, straight back. You got this, you got this. Better to be safe than sorry, I get it. There you go, there you go. You got it. See, I need this space because I need to pull it wide way around here. I hate this parking lot. I do not stop here for this very reason. And look at this. This is why I needed to pull it so wide around here. This is not a parking spot, my friend, but I can still get out, so I'll leave you be. What 
else are guys supposed to do, right? The law says they have to stop and they got nowhere to stop. And when there is some place to stop, you gotta pay for it. Now, whose responsibility is that to pay for it? When people order freight and their freight has to get to them, is it their responsibility to pay for parking for their freight on the way to their location that they ordered, that they paid for? Is it the trucker's responsibility? Like what if all spots were paid one day, right? That's what I'm talking about. Would it be the trucker's responsibility? That's just part of the job. Is it the shipper's responsibility? The people who send out the freight? Is it the government's responsibility? Cause they are mandating that we stop for night with penalty of like prison if we don't. <laughs> What I can tell you is gonna happen is if all spots become paid, the cost of freight is just gonna go up. Because if, I, if I'm delivering freight to somebody and in order for me to get it to where it needs to be, I have to pay for parking along the way, it's gonna be added on to the freight bill. Because unless, you know, unless I order it myself, like if you order a product yourself, it, it, that would just be part of shipping then, right? So that would be part of the shipping costs. All right, let's get back out there onto the freeway. Maybe we can find a streak and beacon and get this truck a bath. Yeah. 
scary. So I'm gonna avoid that altogether. This road for 232 kilometers. And we're gonna go straight south out of Wisconsin. I believe it's uh, Interstate 39. Straight south through Bloomsburg. And then we're gonna come into Indianapolis from the west. That way. It's a little bit further, but there's less tolls. And there's way less traffic. So we'll see how far we make it tonight, but that's the plan anyway. I still have 1,770 kilometers to my destination in Virginia, the first drop of port. That's about 1,100, 1,200 miles. I believe. I like it. Yeah, about 1,000. Yeah, I don't know. I can't do math right now. <laughs> 1,600 kilometers would be 1,000 miles. So add 100 kilometers, 60 miles. So we're at about 1,100 miles, right? Somewhere in there. Quick stop in Roberts, Wisconsin. I need a shower. It looks like shower number nine is ready. I love that we can reserve showers through the app. We've been able to do that for a few years now already, but that is awesome. Cause then I can see, I roll into the parking lot here, I'll quickly check the app, see if there's a big lineup for a shower. And if there's not, yeah, I'll grab a parking spot and I'll run in and grab a shower. But if there's like six people in line for a shower right now, cause they're not cleaning them in there or something, and I'm just like, oh, it's full. Then I roll back out and get back on the highway. I don't even have to go inside. It is bloody hot out here. Man. Boy, I haven't felt heat like this in a long time. And we're not even far south yet. Got my trusty Walmart shower bag. All the stuff I'll need in there. All I gotta do is get in there. Within 10 minutes, you have about 10 minutes from when you reserve your shower, otherwise you lose your shower. strike part of that music playing out there. I had it playing really loud. Get that AC going before I start sweating again. Man, it's so hot outside. You have a shower inside. You walk back to your truck, you need to go back inside for another shower. Woo! What's the temperature now? 38 degrees Celsius. Woo! Woo! with the R on it, that's all. The one with the R on it, yeah. Just touch that one. Man, that guy's frame looks nice, brand new, clean. Can't wait till I can get my frame done. Stretched, painted, looking brand new again.
right down the middle of the driveway, eh, bud? That's all right, I can wait. Man, it's so warm outside, my engine fan almost runs constantly. Hopefully there's no trucks coming in. This is an entry and exit. But if there's a truck entering, then it's not enough room for a truck to go out. There we go. We're good. This is Roberts, Wisconsin. Now we can just hammer down all day. I've got fuel, I'm clean. 100 meters, turn right on, WA-65. These lights are flashing red, which means it's a four-way stop. That guy did, did not, that lady did not stop, did she? Maybe she did. Wanted to beat the big truck! Had to beat the big truck! Would not want to be behind a big truck, not even for five seconds, never! At the roundabout, take the second exit in 300 <laughs> meters and then, at the roundabout, take the second exit. I'm the same way. When I'm in my pickup, I don't want to be behind the big slow moving truck. Can't blame them. Got a lot of these orange flowers growing around here again. Seem to be a staple around this truck stop. As far back as I can remember, these things have been growing right out of the concrete all around here. Different spots though. You know, every time I come here, they're in different spots. It's like they get transplanted or something, or maybe they cut down the old ones, and then they grow some new ones. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Absolutely. I like that idea, Karen. It's a good idea. Not the first exit. This is not an exit. This is the first exit. Round and round we go. Second exit. 94 eastbound. Hammer down. Standing over by the building to the left. 
I stopped here for the night and I got a call from our realtor saying that our house sold and uh, we got a really good price for it and I was really excited. Lots of parking here. It is still Labor Day weekend, so I'm guessing there's lots of parking everywhere. I'm kind of counting on that. I don't know where I'm going to park tomorrow night. We're going to be right around Roanoke, Virginia. Later in the evening. So hopefully all the truck stops aren't just packed full. Plenty of parking here. Man, I wish I could stay here, but if I stay here, I'm not going to make it tomorrow. I, I need to get further. I don't mind driving late into the night. I actually prefer driving late into the night in summertime. In wintertime, I like to stop earlier because I don't want to drive into a cold night uh, when everything's closed, you know. I don't need fuel. I'm just going to thread the needle here real slow. Go park in front. I do prefer night driving, but in the summertime. In the wintertime, it's a different story. Different story. All depends what the temperatures are. It was a really hot day today, like really hot. 36, I, I saw it up to 38 Celsius at one point. Now it's back down to 22. 22 Celsius. What's 22 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 22 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That is perfect. That is a perfect temperature. With a nice little breeze, I put my little screens in my windows for night and get a nice breeze through here, shut the truck off. That is a good sleep waiting for me. That is a good sleep. I hope I find parking. I don't know where we're gonna park tonight yet. We'll figure it out. All right, coffee time. We're driving into the night. I'm taking you with me. You guys want a coffee? No? You sure? All right, I'll just get myself one then. Small one, just a little one. We're not crazy now. I got some work done to my front brakes at the shop this last trip, and they obviously had to take my steer tires off, right? And uh, both my hub covers went missing on this first one. I guess they weren't in there completely tight, and I lost both both hub covers in the front. I had to replace them both already on this trip. They were there when I picked the truck up, so I don't know what happened. Three hours and 32 minutes to drive, and we have four hours and 18 minutes to do it in. Woo! Let's go. Exit 206, I-74 in Illinois, close to the Indiana border. Found myself a truck stop. There's a bunch here actually. There's a Pilot across the street, there's a Loves across the freeway, and there's this little speedway here, and there's another one across over there that had a dark, unlit parking lot. I chose this one. There was lots of spots at all the truck stops, but all the good ones were taken. 
So I felt like this was the most reasonable, safe spot to park. Though I do have a swift truck beside me who nosed in. But I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. He's got decals on the side, or decals, sorry Americans. He's got decals on the side of his truck that say that he's a, a veteran of the U.S. military. So, that gains my respect. I trust that he can back out of here without hitting me. Sort of like angled parking here, eh? See, there's the pilot across the street over there. Oh, it's a Route 66 right next door. And then way over there, a little light there, that's, oops, sorry. That's the Love's Travel Plaza. And this guy decided to nose in. I could have gone on this side of him. Maybe I should have. I mean, he does have lots of space to back out. It was sure a long day today. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit shorter. I did the, not the majority, but I did a bigger part today uh, than I'll have to do tomorrow. We went about a thousand kilometers today, about 600 miles, and tomorrow we gotta to do about 900 kilometers, 950. So I just did a little bit more today than I'll have to do tomorrow. Still not sure exactly where we're gonna spend the night tomorrow, but I didn't know where we were gonna spend the night tonight either. We just sort of figure it out as we go. We'll see what happens. Thanks for hanging out with me today though. It was a, just a steady day of driving. We went through uh, most or a lot of Minnesota. We went through all of Wisconsin. We went almost all the way through Illinois. The border with Indiana is just a little bit further east of here. We'll go through that tomorrow. I guess we're going through, what states are we gonna be going through tomorrow? Let's check it out on the map here. Let's check it out. Indiana, all of Indiana. Probably maybe a little bit of Ohio. A little corner there. Or are we going to be going down to Louisville? Let's see where my road is taking me. Well, maybe Ohio. We're going to be going through Kentucky. And into Virginia. Maybe West Virginia a little bit. Oh, we'll have to wait to see. Tune in tomorrow and find out. It'll be a fun, beautiful day. If we are going through West Virginia, you know it's going to be beautiful scenery. I love West Virginia because it's just rolling hills. It's amazing. I haven't been there in years. Kind of excited to go back and see what's changed, see what stayed the same. Huh. I know what stayed the same though. I'm just as tired now as I was when I parked. But I've got spaghetti. You know what I'm saying? My little, my little oven here. My wife made me spaghetti before I left home. And I think it's ready. Oh, 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 there's some moisture in there. Oh yeah. That, that's the good stuff right there. Mm, I'm ready to eat and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. You stay safe, you be safe, and you, right there, you drive safe. You in the back there too, behind him, talking to you too. Drive safe when you're out there. Drive smart.